Alright, welcome back to the channel. If you've noticed, we've changed our name to GFX Comet. Um, this is because of copyright reasons. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a lightning effect. As you can see, this thumbnail over here is just not my creation, so I don't take any credit for it. First things first, we're going to use the quick selection tool. So just click over here, and I'm just going to select the sky. Um, as you can see, if you select a part you don't want, just hold Alt. And just go over it and it will deselect it so we're just gonna go over it um that seems right and there's just this little bit here and now i just wanna just get that okay now you want to right click and you want to go to select and mask just want to turn the radius up smooth and the contrast actually i'm going to change the preview to on layers and this is what we have selected i'm going to hit okay Go back to your move tool and you want to hit Control J. Now this is going to make the sky a separate layer, which is what we want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a cloudy sky or stormy sky on Google. Okay, so you want to make sure this new sky layer is right on top of the, uh, the one we have separated. And you just want to hold Alt and go in between these layers and just click down. Just going to clip it right in, just like that. You can maybe even lower it. All right, now that we have this, we could just mess with the lighting a little bit to make it make it darker. And go to curves, bring it back out a little bit. So something like that. Let's do it before and after. Before and after. All right, so now. Um, let's do the lightning effects and you want to look up lightning PNG or lightning stock effects um, It's pretty much find one that you want to use. All right, so I think I found one I don't think it's the best one, but you know for tutorial purposes nice it's been a long time looking for more so um, Just put it on screen mode and I'm just gonna take this and Just position it somewhere. I want maybe I think over here is nice so over here, okay, I want to add some background lighting. So I'm going to put it in this image and I'm just going to clip it into the sky layer. All right, so we have this. Uh, I'm going to duplicate it, Control J. I'm going to go filter blur, Gaussian blur. Now this is just to give us some more um, lighting around it. Now you want to create a new layer, go to your brush tool. And we're going to select a blue color. Now, I'm just going to turn the opacity down. Make sure your hardness is on zero. And you just want to paint around the areas which you think the lightning will affect it. Just on the pet here. Uh, load this down. Something like that. All right. Put a filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Just make it a bit more smooth. I think this is fine. All right, now we're gonna put this on overlay. Duplicate it and put one on screen. And this one, I'm just gonna uh, blur it even more. Now I'm gonna go to gradient map, and I'm just going to make this on overlay. Now you wanna select a gradient that you think looks nice. So I think this one is not bad. I'm just gonna lower it. All right, now just for some basic basic lighting, just make everything stand out more. I'm gonna use the brush tool once again, and I'm just gonna paint over it like that. Go overlay, and just make this one on screen. One last thing, I'm going to use another exposure just to bring it up again. And uh, there you have it, that's basically it. Let me do it before and after. This is a uh, before. And after, so that's how you do a lightning effect. Um, obviously, it's not perfect, but you get the idea if you want to, you know, spend more time on it and just make it better, more accurate, realistic, whatever you want to do. You could go ahead and do that. Um, make sure you visit our website, gfxcomma.com. We've redesigned the entire website, we have templates. UIs, logos, and uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next video.